There we go. Hey everyone. I go by Genesis Satanic. I like to watch crap. Uh, and I thought one day, hey, why not do it for YouTube? Anyway. Uh, hi. This is... I'm here today with Season 1, Episode 4 of Vampire in the Garden. I say I'm here today with it, and I, like, yes, technically that's true. But, like, I've also just binge-watched up until this point. So, uh, it's really kind of weird doing an intro for all of these individually. Oh, and just FYI, like, you, you don't have to binge-watch with me. You can... <laughs> it's just a reminder, like... Just because I have no life uh, does not mean that you do not have a life by proxy. You are welcome to engage in the outside world uh, at any point between these, or even halfway through. What do I care? I'm not actually in the room with you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the fourth episode in the Watch Along series for Vampire in the Garden. Um... I don't actually know why I call them watch-alongs. I call playing a game Let's Plays. So why don't I call these Let's Watch? Why? But that... Because you don't call a game a... A, a play-along. But, like, then neither of those make sense. Let's Play or Play-along. It's not like... Y'all are helping me play the game at all. <laughs> so... Whatever. I'm... I gotta stop. I just came here for a fun, like, stupid little time. Like, it's gonna be a fun, stupid little video. Uh, if you've uh, stumbled across this trying to look for more cerebral content on, on YouTube, um, I'm honestly not sure how you got here. So, yeah. Uh, pull up a Vampire in the Garden, Episode 4. Uh, and pull me up on a screen that isn't the main one. I don't need to be the focus of this room. And let's watch along with each other. He said to an empty room. Probably days before anybody else would engage. This is a sad life. Alright, if y'all are ready, I'm pretty ready myself. So, I'm gonna count down. And we will start this in five, four, three, two, one, play. Netflix logo, of course. Netflix serials. I just got to this island in the middle of Frozen. Oh, yes. That is not how their interaction went at the end of the last episode, is it? Was I just not paying attention? It's very possible that I was not. <laughs> Where's fine? She's fine. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stating the obvious. My god, this is delicious. And the sheep just... <laughs> if a sheep has ever walked up and licked you right in the face as you were eating, leave a comment down below. Smash that bell. Because you're going to like the rest of this content, that's for sure. It's not only, like, light, but there's artisans and craftsmen working to make everything more aesthetic. Hey, 
<laughs> He's smiling. Ooh, a hurdy gurdy! Anybody who's played Sea of Thieves knows what a hurdy gurdy is, so don't give me that. Don't act like you don't know. Okay. Do y'all really believe this? It's like we're in episode four. <laughs> if this is a if this is the true uh, perfect society for vampires and humans, then this will end in tragedy, and we all know it already. Because you know what, the anime hasn't ended yet. <laughs> <laughs> She's the jealous type, huh? Here we are. A dystopian society that is, um, secretly crazy. Is it all just old people living there? Also, she's a vampire. It's like, what? what is her actual age? How old is anyone in this show? <laughs> don't don't underthink things in anime. <laughs> People keep telling me I'm overthinking it, but I can see past these lines, you know. All these protagonists. These people sauna a lot. Is that like common? How do those work? They're on the wrist, right? I'm almost, like, so content not even questioning this perfect society. She's like, yeah, we've made it. This is it. I've never been outside of my walls. I've traveled maybe 30 miles, and you know what? I'm tired of walking. <laughs> I 
she's a skeptic. Oh yeah, 60 FPS dancing. Look at them go. Me and my friends at the club on a Friday. Merriment, joy, Fine is unimpressed. She's like, the only one to dance with Momo should be me. My body's rejecting the blood, I guess. It's really weird seeing a vampire cough up blood. Eh, I guess not. Media's done it a thousand times. It's weird conceptually, but it's not uh, anything I'm unused to. and dancing interrupts productivity, you see. Alright, you party pooper, what do you got? What's wrong? You negative Nancy. Go ahead. Rain on our parade. I dare you. Signs that your friend is depressed. Volume 1. Still really attached to that nickname, huh? Worms. been very moody so far. Man. <laughs> Smoking? <laughs> That's evil too.
Even cigarettes are outlawed. <laughs> what do they even do with their time? <laughs> Just work the line, sleep, and uh, die at the early age of 38 from stress. Momo, she's 16. Not unrealistic age for an anime protagonist. Her mom? No, she looks 30, but she's in late 30s, but she's like 21. I didn't math that out well. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the secret militarism. We must maintain the secrecy of this place that everyone knows about. I'll crawl out the rabbit hole. <laughs> If the vampires get out, they'll tell everyone where we are, despite the fact that everyone actually knows where this place is in the first place. Anybody who's a scientist knows where we are. Yeah, you're... Did a bad job. It's because he was singing, you see. It's, it's unproductive. It distracted him. A true utopian society is built on a lack of fun. Because a lack of fun is productive. Oh, shit. Okay, what's the plan, Momo? You gonna... Oh my god, is that all blood? Is that? I hope. I would hope you wouldn't hurt her. <laughs> Being literally bathed in a blood soup all of the time, twenty four seven.
Yes! Oh, puppy! That's how you know they're evil. That's how you know they're the bad guys in this scenario. Oh, well, so much for their source of electricity. That's literally the basis of every other society in here. In this show. You just threw acid at your face? That was unexpected. <laughs> I fucking love anime logic though. Just they generate electricity with my regenerative abilities somehow. <laughs> It's not enough that we're doing all of these evil things in the name of, like, protection. No. We, we also have to be doing basic torture for the advancement of civilization. As well. And she's 14! <laughs> I was a little liberal with my uh, estimate on her being a 16-year-old. This weeb is in his element. Gets to use his katana and look cool doing it. see why missiles are the most accurate thing to use in this scenario, but... You've already killed, like, seven vampires. Why are you just knocking out the humans? Is this some moral, moral thing? A moral high ground thing? Man, you're just psychotic. Like, it's not even about being a good person, or, like, for doing it for the advancement of society anymore. I, it is just that you are crazy. As it happens with most, uh, disagreeable characters in anime. In order to truly not sympathize with them, they have to be insane, is what the logic is. Nope. Keep a better handle on your weapons next time. <laughs> Damn, Momo. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't even think about killing a vampire before. First one she's taken out, she shot point blank in the chest and then dropped a torpedo on. In like a morally unquestionable scenario. And then she died. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> what a glass cannon. Am I right? You nerds? You D&D &D players out there? Yeah. <laughs> 
this show. Oh goodness gracious. Letting the credits roll. There we go. So yeah, that wraps it up. That wraps up uh, episode four of this. Uh, <laughs> of this watch along. That's what we're calling it. Um, <laughs> that one. Uh, that one went off the rails there a little bit at the end. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, I know. I mean, sometimes in anime, it's just, like, it's such a uh, thing that if there's going to be somebody in, like, um, in a scenario that's that's weird or questionable, they have to be, um, the leader has to be unquestionably bad. That way the protagonist can leave without any sort of, like, rumination on the, on the topic. Uh, I see a lot. So that's why it became such a big topic of conversation for me there at the end. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, okay, she's a vampire, she's a kid, and she's a, a child vampire, I guess. Um, and she's uh, the leader of a society. If that wasn't setting off red flags in the first place, like, I don't know what y'all's standards for... Uh, crazy, someone, a, a character turning crazy are going to be just too much pressure, you know? Having so much responsibility at that age. But the only person who's actually, like, been aged in this show officially has been Momo at 14. <laughs> a full two years uh, younger than I thought. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird little trope. And I see it a lot, so I decided to comment on it. That's the long and the short of it. <sighs> so, yeah. This show's, uh, it's okay. It's getting, it's getting weirder. It's getting, dare I say, less interesting as we go. Um, this is not the promised land that uh, they were trying to seek out uh, at the beginning of the show. Who'd have thought, it being only episode four in what I imagine is a 10 to 12 episode series. Let's... Let's actually check that really quick, because I have the capability, the means, and the drive. It's actually not that long. It's only five episodes. Uh, so, that's surprising. That, that threw me for a loop. I, <laughs> I now understand that I will be ending this anime in the next episode and you do too because I just spoiled it for you <laughs> um, and um, listen y'all commenting on these is is, is actually kind of terrifying especially with like the runtime aspect of things like if I don't like I have no room to edit things out <laughs> so if I if I just say things that are really stupid or uh, if I, I'm uh, absolute racist as I casually am then I have no 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 space to edit that out um, I gotta be on point is what I'm getting at <laughs> and that ain't always easy because I am a messy person incidentally that's why I have a green screen background. It's because my room is a goddamned mess. I have gotten off topic. Looks like we only have one more episode in the series. So, hopefully you'll join me next time for, for uh, I guess, the finale of Vampire in the Garden. I could be wrong. It could be something that they're updating, but it doesn't have the little, like, new episode weekly thing that Netflix usually does. Man, I can really I can really binge watch him if I try. Yeah. All right. So I guess my concerns that it's slightly less interesting are uh, may just straight up be invalidated by the next one, because you know how them finales go. They are uh, bombastic and should be uh, at the very least an interesting time. It should aim to be at least as interesting a time as the intro, and the intro was pretty off the wall so yeah 
hopefully you'll join me. And uh, if you have any shows that you want to want an, want me to produce a watch along for, uh, let me know. I will think about it thoroughly. Then perhaps do it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm looking through some of the more like this section and like vaguely remember Cabanair. I want to say that's what it's pronounced like. Um, and and <laughs> remembering that being a time that I had a lot of a lot of comments for. So maybe I'll maybe I'll jump on that next if nobody says anything. Uh, and if I decide to make more of these at all, because like. It's it's fun, don't get me wrong. Um, and if you're still here after episode 4, you probably agree. I can't say that for sure. You might just be a, a masochist. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think this is like something that people usually go for. So, uh, yeah, I don't expect any any sort of popularity or notoriety from this this series, as I, I've mentioned before. So yeah, we'll see if I keep going with them, keep doing more. They're super simple to make. Fun little stupid videos, as it were. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna end this video. It's getting at about its length. And hopefully I'll catch you all for the next one. Um, yeah. Have a good rest of the day. Um, assuming you're not just going to click the next video immediately. And stay safe out there.